Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to European Villa on Tour. Here we go then. This is the latest edition of This is the Biggest Game of Our Season. A two-legged quarter-final against French side Lille, who sit fourth in Ligue 1. And their most recent result in the league was beating Europa League quarter-finalist Marseille. So these lot are a decent side. And if you've watched this channel before, you know my views on the Conference League. I am desperate to be in Athens on the 29th of May, watching John McGinn captain Villa to their first trophy in 28 years. It would just be absolutely massive for the club and for me personally as well, having done all the European trips so far this season. Which reminds me, we shall be in Lille next week for the away leg, so do subscribe for that content coming very, very soon. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see how we set up tonight, obviously with it being the home leg first. We haven't had that so far, but I'm just buzzing. I've absolutely loved the Conference League journey so far this season. But like I said, Lille stand in our way at the moment, but win that and you've got a huge semi-final against Olympia Arcos of Greece or Fenerbahce of Turkey and then get through that you've got that massive final in Athens at the end of May which like I said I am absolutely desperate for but anyway a first European quarter final at Villa Park since 1998 up the Villa it's a very special day isn't it yeah it's his birthday it is my birthday and I was thinking when was the last time Villa played on my actual birthday and I think I'm thinking 2015 Benteke against Tottenham bash 1-0 header I think that was the last time but a massive thank you to everyone who said happy birthday on Instagram Twitter very very lovely kind comments as ever so thank you very much just before we do head into town for a few birthday beers before the game I do want to give a massive shout out to Luke 1977 I am sporting some of their lovely gear at the moment a lovely Luke jacket if you want to grab yourself some Luke gear as well use my code Max20 for 20% off. They've just teamed up with Chris Wokes, the England cricketer. And they've got a lovely range over there. Chris Wokes, his new range is absolutely gorgeous. So go and check out some of the gear over there. Any of that take your fancy, don't forget to use my code Max20 as ever. Works on all of the full price items as well. Without further ado, let's get the train into Birmingham. Up the villa. European nights are back. In private, on messaging, you were saying you're a little bit nervous for tonight. I haven't got a great feeling. We've not been in great form, have we? I think I was saying to you, like, if you, if you take the Conference League out of it, in the Premier League, we want one, one win in five. We're shipping a lot of goals at the moment. Yeah. So we're not in great form. We're not in great form. And let's let's just hope we can turn it back around before the end of the season. But And Lille are a good side as well, by the way. People yeah. are saying they're the, the second strongest in the, the Conference League remaining after Villa. Yeah, I think I said a few weeks ago that I think Villa have got the hardest route to the final if we're going to get there. You know, you'd like to take like a two like a two goal advantage, really, yeah. wouldn't you? Back to France next week, which I think might be tough tonight. But look, if we can get a win, you'd just take that, wouldn't you? Any I form of that. advantage, any form of advantage will be massive. Score prediction: two one Villa. Big shout out to the head of steam, lovely pub just outside of New Street. They've just came out and given me a discount on beers. Cannot complain with that. Massive shout out to head of steam. Always coming here. Um, absolutely loving it. Thanks for the discount. Must be viewers of the channel. So uh, thank you. <laughs> Still outside the stadium, um, I think it's about five minutes till kickoff. Blame the trains, either they're broken, there's not enough staff, they're just not on. The trains in this country an absolute joke. That's why we're five minutes till kickoff. Don't like being late, but it uh, is what it is. Screw the trains.
in this game still very much hangs in the balance. I think if it wasn't for three very, very, very good Emi Martinez saves, this game would be way more open and there'd be more goals in it. He's basically kept us in it. I think Lee will leave a lot of space in midfield. They do. Louise has had a lot of joy. McGinn at times. Bailey especially as well. He's had a couple of chances. But I think going forward, they do cause a few threats. Jonathan David was talked about a lot in the lead-up to this game and he has looked decent. They've got a few other players who move the ball well. Ball's over the top as well. They definitely, definitely carry a threat. But I think especially Villa going 1-0 up early, absolutely massive that was. It's a great header by Ola Watkins from a corner. Great goal from him, great header. Another goal for him, by the way. Unbelievable. But I think if you're asking me, do I feel safe at the moment? Not really. But at the moment, 1-0 at half-time, take that. <laughs> If you offered me 2-1 before the game, absolutely would have taken that. Like we said before the game, like if you go to France next week, have anything to protect, that is absolutely massive. A lot of people have said how good of a side Lille are and seeing them in the flesh tonight, they are okay. They move the ball well. They do create a decent amount of chances. We owe quite a lot to Emi Martinez tonight. I thought Jonathan David, the striker, was a little bit quiet, um, but they had quite a few decent looking creative players. So definitely ones to keep an eye out for next week in the second leg. Like I said, a lot of people might say the man of the match might be Watkins for scoring, John McGee for scoring an excellent goal, which he was, by the way, and getting an assist from the corner. But I'd give it to Emi Martinez. Like, I think people sort of overlook him because we just expect him to be that good. But yeah, we owe a lot to him tonight. But going back to those two, John McGinn, nice to see him back, energised back in the side. At times, he looked like he was a little bit tired. I'm not sure what that was about, but he did look good tonight. He did look good. Goal and an assist. That goal, by the way, being right behind that. What a finish. Ollie Watkins does what he does. 25th goal in all competitions. Absolutely ridiculous form he is on, of course. But yeah, 2-1. Could have been 2 
2 I think 2-1 is probably a fair reflection in the end. And yeah, I, I, I'm buzzing with that, to be fair. It gives us something to protect. I mean, if they score the first goal next week, it's going to make it interesting. But at least we we are going there, knowing that we've got something to look after. Just uh, just don't give Lille any set pieces, I think, is the, uh, the way to go next week. But like I said in the intro, we will be in Lille next Thursday for the away leg. So do stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video as well. That would be massively appreciated. Let's go big. If we can hit 2,000 likes, that would be massively appreciated but anyway next time i see you shall be in london on sunday for the arsenal away game and then leo in france next week until then up the villa <laughs>